that a bihuculon Zeiger theory made it possible to interpret the effect of a sharp increase in electrical conductivity under conditions when pulses with very high field strengths are used for measurements. This effect was discovered by Wien. Wien found that in the region where the field strength is 20-50 MV per meter, the equivalent electrical conductivity after a sharp increase reaches its limiting value. The Wien effect is in contradiction with Ohm's law and therefore it received recognition only after careful experimental verification. According to the theory of debye huckel zeiger the Wien effect can be easily explained. At high field strengths, the velocity of the ion becomes so high that the ionic atmosphere does not have time to form and its inhibitory effect disappears. Based on the ratio, We can calculate the field strength at which an increase in electrical conductivity should be expected. The calculation leads exactly to those values of the field strength at which the Wien effect is observed. In solution of weak electrolytes, the Wien effect is much stronger. In this case, the electrical conductivity increases tenfold. This is due to the dissociation of a weak electrolyte under the action of a strong electric field. That is a phenomenon that Faraday pointed out without assuming, however, that uh, this requires such significant field strengths. The second effect, an increase in the equivalent electrical conductivity at very high frequencies of alternating current, was predicted by Debye and Falkenhagen on the basis of the debye huckel zeiger theory. As follows from this theory, if the frequency of the alternating current used for measurements is then the symmetry of the ionic atmosphere is not broken and the relaxation effect of declaration disappears. At the same time, the electrophoretic effect of inhibition persists and the electrical conductivity does not reach its limiting value. Wien measured conductivity using high-frequency alternating current and confirmed the existence of the debye falkenhagen effect. The debye huckel onzager theory can also explain the concentration dependence of the transport numbers. To do this, we write down the formula for the equivalent electrical conductivity of a monovalent electrolyte. Further, we represent the limiting electrical conductivity of a singly charged ion in the form. Then, If we separate these two equations, we get the formula for the transfer number. In the limit at from this equation
and if this expression is substituted into the formula for transport numbers, we get So, if then according to the equation, the transport numbers will not depend on the concentration. If then the transport numbers decrease with increasing concentration. when then transport numbers should increase with increasing concentration this is the character of the transport numbers of effective concentrations established experimentally